W E A F, New York. of Avalon cigarettes, please. Yes, sir. Oh, just a moment, sir. Don't forget your change. You'd never guess, but Avalon's cost you less. So why not always travel on with Avalon? Good evening, friends. Good evening. This is Del King saying welcome to Avalon time with Red Foley, Jeanette, the Avalon Chorus, and Bob Strong and his orchestra, and the only man in radio who believes there are two sides to every question, his side and the wrong side, Red Skelton. Thank you very much and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. That announcement was made by Del King. He's a peach of an announcer, too. Thank you. <laughs> you can tell he's a peach by that fuzz on his upper lip. <laughs> Say, uh, those are nice-looking shoes you have on, Skelton. Oh, do you like them? They're uh -huh. genuine cowhide. Oh. In fact, they're so genuine, I have to milk them twice a day. <laughs> <laughs> but they're comfortable, though. Yeah, that suit must be genuine cowhide, too. It's kind of baggy at the knees. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How are you tonight, microphone? Hello, Skelton. I heard you say last week there should be a rhyme for Avalon time. So I wrote a poem for you. Oh, you did? Would you like to hear it? Yeah, I'd like to hear it. You're just a clown. No soul, they say. I know how that makes you feel. But really, Skelton, you must have a soul. One comes with every heel. Yeah. <laughs> ah, you don't bother me, microphone. I'm thinking of all the fun I'm going to have tomorrow in my car. I'm going out and do a little Sunday driving. You know what Sunday driving is? That's carbon monoxide with detours. <laughs> well, but what a place Chicago is to drive in. You stick out your hand to make a left turn and a taxi cab runs up your sleeve. <laughs> I have a nice car. It's all mine, too. All I owe the guy that sold it to me is a grudge. <laughs> mm. <laughs> that car is so old, when I took it down to the license bureau, I had to get it upper and lower plate. <laughs> I drove it up an alley the other day and one garbage can turned to the other garbage can and says, there's that thing I was telling you about. <laughs> Last Sunday, I parked it near a bunch of limousines and when I came back, it was panhandling parked. <laughs> I have a lot of fun in my car, though. It's a nice one, too. It has real knee action. Every time you hit a bump, your knees hit your chin. <laughs> And the Sunday driving is a little different nowadays. Back in the gay 90s, when something whizzed by you, it was a horse feeling his oats. <laughs> nowadays, when something whizzes by you, it's some jackass feeling his ride. <laughs> I met one of those fellas. Thanks a lot, both of you. I, uh, I met a couple of the, uh, fellas in the, in the courtroom the other day who were reckless. <laughs> well, get ahead of me back there. The, uh, I met a fellow in a courtroom the other day who was uh, up for reckless driving, and the judge says, I fine you $100 for driving up a one-way street without any lights, going through a safety zone, hitting a pedestrian, and driving while intoxicated. The guy says, wait a minute, don't that $2 safety sticker entitle me to any privileges? <laughs> well, I've been out here stripping gears long enough, so I'll park and let Red Foley dedicate a song to my car entitled, We've Come a Long Way Together. Take the uh, wheel, Foley. You've got a lot of friends out there waiting to give you the right-of-way. <laughs> Come a long way together since we met on the old village green. We've weathered all kinds of weather, and to me you are still sweet sixteen. I care if our hair turns to silver, we still have 
have love to keep our hearts aglow. We've come a long way together, and we still have a long way to go. find yourself a little short of cash and borrow a dollar from some good friend? <laughs> I know I have. And if you have too, then you know the value of a dollar. Well, just think this over for a minute. You can save many, many dollars every year by switching to Avalon's, the quality cigarette that costs three to five cents less than other popular price brands. Yes, that repeated and consistent saving of three to five cents on every pack of cigarettes you smoke turns into real money in a surprisingly short time. Now, friends, you have everything to gain in Avalon's. For, in addition to this big saving, you still get a superior quality cigarette. Avalon's are 100% union-made from an unsurpassed blend of the finest Turkish and domestic tobaccos. You'd never guess they cost you less. Supreme quality, outstanding economy, Avalon's are certainly worth the trial. Why not get a pack tonight? and the boys playing Alice Holiday. Boy, what a band. They played three little fishies so realistic that two college boys came in wearing napkins. <laughs> what a band. What a band. Well, I'm glad you like the band, Skinny. Yeah. 
What do you mean, skinny? Why, your face is so thin, it's only got one side to it. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh, while I was playing, I just happened to remember something. Wasn't a tune by any chance, was it? <laughs> no, I haven't had my five minutes off for a smoke. Uh, well, I'll be seeing you later, skinny. Yeah, skinny. That guy may be a maestro to some people, but he's a rat stro to me. <laughs> Say, Dell, mm -hmm. I'm trying to start a vacation uh, service bureau, so you follow Bob Strong and tell me what he smokes, will you? Well, I don't want to be an informer, Red. Well, uh, then get off that stool, pigeon. <laughs> Go shadow him, will you? Well, now listen, suppose he doesn't smoke Avalon. Yeah. He wouldn't dare. <laughs> Go on now, get going. See what okay, he's skinny pants. Yeah. Why is everybody calling me skinny? I ain't so thin. Then how come I can see daylight through your ears? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Miss Stillwell. Say, I'm, let's get down to business. I'm starting a skeleton vacation and travel bureau. And if anybody calls up, it's for me. Why don't you get an office? Ah, uh, my office is in my hat. Oh, in a vacant law. Yeah. <laughs> Say, you look nice tonight. You know, I like you. Yes, but would you like me if I were old and ugly? Well, don't I? I mean, uh... <laughs> uh, uh telephone, you better take that. Hello, this is Scout and Vacation Service. We cook your tours. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just a moment, please. A lady wants to know if you can arrange an overnight airplane trip to California. Nah, tell her no. This is no fly-by-night concern. <laughs> Hang up on her there, will you? It's kind of the... Oh, Hiya there, Skelton. Hiya, Red Bully. Say, uh, how you feeling? Oh, feeling full of pep and ready to go. Uh, on a vacation. I can fix that for you, boy. I've started a vacation service here, and I'll send you on a vacation that'll fill you so full of vitality, you'll be all worn out from carrying her around. <laughs> How would you like to go to Rappaport's by the sea? Oh, I don't think I'd like to. Ah, it's a nice place. Rate's very reasonable. Five dollars a day. Huh? Buck and a half, you argue. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? Oh, I, I kind of got a hankering to see the Great Divide. Okay, Miss Stillwell, see what time the next boat leaves for the Great Divide. <laughs> you dope. The Great Divide is in the United States, between the Pacific Coast and the Great Plains. Oh, it is? I thought the Great Divide was in Europe, between two dictators. <laughs> <laughs> Who's there? Why don't I barnacle Bill the sailor? <laughs> Hercules! Hey, I have a lot of fun here in Chicago, Herky. Have you met anybody you know? Oh, goodness, no. I haven't met anybody that even looks like anybody I know. <laughs> How are you, Miss Stillwell, after those sandwiches we had last night? Yeah. What sandwiches? Oh, we drove out in the country to get some of those Sally Rand sandwiches. Sally Rand? Oh, you know, chicken with very little dressing. <laughs> Say, hey, Herky, how about me helping you decide where to spend your vacation? Oh, no, 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 Mr. Skelton. I always go to Lake Quitchabelly Aiken. <laughs> and if you like wildlife, you ought to go there. It made a regular caveman out of me. <laughs> you look kind of anemic to me. Well, you see, I didn't come out of the cave very often. <laughs> but I certainly had a lot of fun up there pitching horseshoes, although it is kind of strenuous. Yeah, strenuous? Pitching those little shoes? Little shoes? Oh, you mean you're supposed to remove the horses? <laughs> well, I've got to go now. I left some beans on the stove, and if I don't hurry, they might burn my beans. So uh, I'll Good old Herky, the pink cyclone. <laughs> uh, say, Skelton, you know you wanted me to, uh, to find out if Bob Strong smoked Avalon. Yeah, well, what'd you find Mr. Out? Avalon was in the hall, and you know what Bob did to impress him? No, what? He lit a whole pack of Avalons and smoked them all at once. <laughs> Why, that show off. Anything to hold a job. Uh oh, here he comes out. Look, look at that guy strut. Come on over, awful? Bob. Yeah, come on over, Bob. <laughs> old Shakespeare Strong. What do you mean, Shakespeare Strong? Oh, he's making a play for somebody. <laughs> Say, have you decided where you're going to spend your vacation? I may not get one You may get one sooner than you think <laughs> well, Maybe I better put it this way then Where are you going to spend your layoff? <laughs> are you mad at me, Bob? You didn't say hello No, I'm not mad How about a little kiss, Jitterbugsy? Jitterbugsy You're going to start that kissing stuff again this week You're going to wear out your kisser You don't watch out <laughs> Oh, corny... Casanova. <laughs> you gonna let that guy kiss you? Well, who said I was? What do you think would happen if I let every man I meet kiss me? I don't know. What usually happens? <laughs> well, of course, now, if you won't let me kiss you, I can't. That's all. Well, how do you know? You haven't even tried yet. 
Oh, you gonna let that guy kiss you? Uh, look, uh, Bob, now, about the vacation. Uh, now, I can let you have an A tour for $10, or for five bucks, I can let you have a B tour, or you can take the C tour for $2.50. Well, look here. Here's 50 cents. You take a D tour. Yeah. <laughs> I'll fix you. Jeanette's gonna go to town with Don't Worry About Me from the Cotton Club Review, and you'll have to accompany her. Get start traveling, brother. Start traveling. <laughs> And now, friends, a few serious words about Avalon... Down in a meddy in a itty bitty poo. Say, Skelton, it's the commercial. I have to say here that Avalon... Whip, wee, widow, feedy, and a mummy feedy poo. <laughs> hey, Red, cut it out, cut it out. What'll Mr. Avalon say? <laughs> fim, said a mummy feedy fim if you tend. Listen, Skelton, this is no time for Uda Dead Funny. Uh-oh. <laughs> So they fam and they fam all over the damn. Isn't, isn't wet? I gotta do a commercial. <laughs> Go ahead and do the commercial. But who is getting me? Oh, I can't weed stray. <laughs> Listen, from hearing that song too much on the radio lately, I can't seem to think great either. <laughs> Down in the meadow in a itty bitty field. Cut it out, wet. Now cut it out. Now listen. Friends, when who buy Avalon, <laughs> who that the choices Turkish and domestic tobaccos that have been blended together with where kill? <laughs> oh, I can't do on. Oh, do on, girl, do on. Get there, give you an equic mild, delightfully mild move. Who didn't? <laughs> Wed, hmm? who didn't put in foily and doyable? <laughs> Why didn't go ahead and tell him about it yourself, then? <laughs> Down in the meadow in a itty bitty pool. Stop it, Red, stop it. It was dot me in an awful pot, a spot. <laughs> Don't get that story, Del. Just say, remember, friends, Avalon caught you three to five cents less than other popular fried friends. Ootin' dootin' 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 do. Friends, who'd never dare but Avalon's tossed to wet. <laughs> So remember the next time who asks for cigarettes, say... They fem and they fem all over the damn... No, no, no. Ask for ever one cigarette. And don't forget your change. Uh, 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 take it, Wed Foley, and ting what you're done a ting. <laughs> oh, sit still. It's all that baby talk. Folks of the Avalon course, I'm going to sing, uh, Tilva on the Tage. <laughs> 
Go ahead and play it, Bob Fong, will you? There's silver on the sage tonight Sprinkled by the moon above So lie down, doggies, and let me dream Of the one gal I love There's silver on the sage tonight We've been on the trail all day So lie down, doggies, and you dream too Of the range far away Of the range waiting for you Where the streams never go dry and the grass sparkles with dewdrops In the meadow of the sweet by and by There's silver on the sage tonight Sprinkled by the moon above So lie down, dogies, and let me dream of the world of the girl I Nice going there, Red Bull, with silver on the sage. And now for one of our Gaga sagas. This week, it's about the purchase, purchase of Manhattan. That's the island where New York City now stands. I'll take the part of Chief Skelton, the guy who sold it to Peter Minuet. Um, you set the scene, will you, Dell? while I get my feathers on? Okay, Red. Okay, Bob. Time is May 13, 1626. Peter Minuet, the first governor of New Amsterdam, is about to perform his first official act, the purchase of the island of Manhattan. As the scene opens, we find him and his secretary approaching the Indian village. Well, I hope the Indians will be friendly. Oh, they'll be friendly. Don't look so scared. Wh who's scared? Well, you are, or else you're overacting the part of a pale face. <laughs> Sissy. But why should I worry? The last time I was here, the big chief liked me so much, he took out an option on my scalp. <laughs> and this time, he might lift the option. <laughs> Quiet, we're coming into the village. Oh, Here's the chief now. Hiya, chiefy. Hiya, chiefy. Well, why don't you answer me? That's a totem pole, you dope. <laughs> hmm. Uh, well, uh, don't let it get around that a Dutchman was scared by a pole. <laughs> Shh. Here's a real Indian. Oh. Hiya, Redskin. I want to see the big chief. You want to see Big Chief Walking Bear? Certainly not. Tell him to put some clothes on. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh what? Ugh okay. <laughs> Enter TP. Management not responsible for toupee. You know, I, I, I don't think we should go in there. It's all right, Peter. Come on in. Oh, there he is. Hi, a TP old boy. Old boy? Old boy? How? How? And how? <laughs> Why you bring squaw? I write shorthand. Yeah? Me must ch chop off me squaw's hands. She write without hand, too. Uh, <laughs> oh, I lost oh, that oh. up, didn't I? <laughs> Who's that? Uh, him only man sick and tribe. Well, who is he? Him medicine man. <laughs> Look, Chief. 
We've come to buy Manhattan Island. Yeah. Medicine man make all decisions. Me ask him if we should sell island. Uh, uga waga, uga waga, uga. uga. Ata mia huga haga tua. Hold tight, hold tight. Who do you have to Who do you have to say? Uh, ug, ug. Uh, uh him say no. What's next question for house? Who buy him next drink? Yeah. <laughs> Must warn delegate from Tammany tribe. Keep quiet. <laughs> Queer people, these foreigners. Yeah. You keep quiet, too. We burn Peter, Peter Minuet at stake. We make Minuet steak. <laughs> <laughs> I think I look on Nick's page, see if more laughs. <laughs> Indian plant corn, Indian eat corn. Indian, Indian talk corn. Yeah. <laughs> Big Chief no like squall, steal punchlines. <laughs> she wins. Look, Chief, I want to buy Manhattan Island. I have lots of money. What good money to Indians? To buy food. Indian shoot food. Buy clothes. Indian shoot clothes. Have fun. Indian shoot pale face. <laughs> pale face crazy. Every time he sat down to eat, tried to stab face with sticks. <laughs> That's a fork, you dope. Yeah. White squall like British Empire. Sun never set on tongue. Tawaga, wooga, hooga. Tawaga. Look. The medicine man's talking with his eyes closed. Yeah, him in solo conference. Ooga, tahika, googa, wooga. But yeah. fast. Are you kidding? <laughs> Very strange. Medicine man have dreams. Says, sell Manhattan Island quick. You still want to buy quick right away, huh? Yes. But all I have with me is a bunch of junk. No money. Uh, empty pockets will do. Okay. Here's some beads and trinkets and marbles and stuff. Altogether, it's probably worth some $24. Some imagination. Yeah. <laughs> Me take junk, you take island. Okay, wrap it up. And you sign right here. Me no can write. That's all right. He can't read. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Chiefy. Mm. Me think Chief holds short end of sticks. <laughs> hey, wake up, medicine man. Me kick your head uh, in. Uh, ooga, ooga. <laughs> Ooga, wooga, wooga, wooga. Yeah, medic man speak, me translate. Uh, ooga, wah, hooga, mug. A wug, wug, a ga, mooga, hoo, go, go, hoo. Mm. <laughs> Medicine man say have dream of Manhattan Island. Many moons from now. He see 1939. He see trouble for Indians if we stay here. Headlines from paper. He see Yankees, more Indians. <laughs> he also see Dewey. Make it hot for Tammany tribe. A <laughs> wooga, ma, hooga, ma, hooga. Oh, no. Also, dice committee after red. <laughs> okay, play feast. Big Chief Happy sell Manhattan. You take island, me take ferry boat, Hoboken, two minutes. So long. <laughs> Yippee! <Yoo -hoo. laughs> highest quality but cost three to five cents less than other popular price brands. And when you can get supreme quality in Avalon's for less, why pay more? So the next time, ask for Avalon. And don't forget your change. Yes, Avalon cigarettes, dear friends, cost several cents less than others. You too can say this difference like all of us Avalon brothers. Each pack is wrapped in cello blade, each pack is union made. No wonder folks from coast to coast say Avalon's lead the parade. So why not always travel along with Avalon? Yes, you'd never guess, but Avalon's cost only 10 cents, plus city or state tax. Ladies and gentlemen, Avalon time is made possible through your loyalty to Avalon cigarettes. And we'd like to thank you for keeping Avalon on the air. And we hope that you'll tune us in again next week. Good night and greetings to all the mothers. The Brown and Williamson Tobacco Corporation presents Avalon Time each Saturday at this same time. <laughs>
Del King speaking. So long, everybody. Avalon Time has come to you from our Chicago studios. This is the National Broadcasting Company. W-E-A-F, New York, 9 p.m., B-U-L-O-V-A, Bull of the Watch Time. <laughs>